Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of applying for an Australian business number or ABN for short. And in this video, we're going to apply for an ABN as a sole trader who is starting up a small business such as a delivery driver or a freelancer. However, if you are looking to apply for an ABN as a company, partnership or trust, you can still benefit from watching this video as the process is fairly similar. Before we start, I'd like to point out that applying for an ABN is completely free, so there is no need to pay anyone to apply for an ABN for you. All you need to do is make sure you're on the official Australian Business Register website, which is at abr.gov.au, and once you're there, you can just click on the Apply for an ABN link to get to the right place. Or, if you like, start at google.com.au, type in Apply for an ABN, Scroll down past the ads until you find the link to the official Australian Business Register website. Click on the link and you should end up at the right place. Okay, so no matter how you find this page, once you're here, click on the apply or reapply for an ABN button to start the application process. Now on this first screen here, it's just asking you to read and agree to some important information. And just a couple of important things to note. Up here, you can see that it says that you may need to provide evidence that you are entitled to an ABN. If you don't need to provide evidence, you can actually get your ABN immediately after you finish this process. But if you do need to provide evidence, then your ABN will come later. And also you can see here that it says once you have an ABN, you must make sure that you update it within 28 days of any change and cancel it if you are no longer trading or carrying on an enterprise. Okay, so once you've read the information here, you can just tick this checkbox and click on next. Now on this first screen here, it's asking about our ABN entitlement and it's just looking for the entity of the applicant. And in this video, we're going to apply as an individual or sole trader. But obviously if you're applying as a self-managed superannuation fund or a company, etc., you need to check one of those other boxes. Okay, so we clicked on individual sole trader and now it's just asking whether our activities will be carried out in Australia and they will, so we click on yes. And then it's asking if we have already started our activity or if we're taking steps to start our activity. So just make sure you check the right box there. I'm going to check on yes. And then down here, it's just asking what is the nature of our activity. So if you click on the drop down box, you can see here that there's a few options there. So for us, it's just going to be in the form of a business. And then finally, it's got, are you doing things that are consistent with running a business? And yes, we are, because we're trying to make money out of being a freelancer or a delivery driver for Uber, etc. Okay, so once you've finished that page, just click on next. And it's just giving us a little review here of the information that we just put in there. So if you want to change anything, you can just click on restart. Or if you want to totally cancel, you can click on cancel. If you're happy with everything, just click on next. And you'll end up at the next screen here, which is the application detail. Okay, so we've already chosen individual sole trader. The next question is asking whether that particular entity has previously had an ABN. And in this case, it's no. If you have had one, make sure you click on yes and then answer any further questions. So down here, it's asking us whether the applicant wishes to apply or reapply for an ABN. So of course that's yes. It's asking whether the applicant has a tax file number. Now, because we're a sole trader here, we do have a tax file number. If you're going under any other entity, such as a company or a partnership or a trust, make sure you ask your accountant whether you've got a tax file number. And then the next question is whether we wish to apply for a tax file number. And no, we don't because we already have one. And then click on next. And on the next screen is asking us for a bit more taxation information. So firstly, is the applicant an Australian resident for tax purposes? So the answer here is yes. So just make sure that you get that one right. If you've moved to Australia from overseas and you are a resident, if you do live here, and you're going to operate your business here, then the answer is yes. And then for the next question, you just need to put in the registered tax agent number. If you do use a registered tax agent to do your tax returns, 
and it says here that you can find this number on your last tax return. If you can't find the number, just leave it blank, or if you don't have a tax agent, you can just leave it blank. So we'll click on next. Okay, so on the next screen here, it's asking us for the applicant information. So because we're a sole trader, we can just put our own information in there. So I'm just gonna put in some pretend information. Okay, so I've just put in a title and a first name and a family name and also a date of birth. And then also have a look at this question down here that's asking for the tax file number. And it's saying that you don't need to put the tax file number in, but not quoting it will delay your registration. So if you do have a tax file number, make sure you put it in there. Okay, once you're finished, you can click on next. And now it's asking for some business activity details. So this first question wants to know from what date you want the ABN. So if you need it immediately, just leave the current date in there. And you can also see there's a little blurb here saying that this date cannot be more than six months in the future. Okay, so this next question is asking if you intend for the business activity to be less than three months, on what date do you expect to cease business? So if this is going to be an ongoing business, you don't need to put a date in there. If it's going to be very short term, then you, then you need to put the date in there. Down here, there's an important question about the main business activity. So you need to describe your main business activity down here. So I'm just gonna have a go at typing my main activity in here. Okay, so I've just put delivery driver in that box. And then down here, it's asking us for the category for the main business activity as well. So if we open up this box, you can see that there's lots of different categories in here. So just make sure you pick the right category out of here. For this exercise, I'm just going to pick food delivery service for restaurants. And then finally, there's a question down here about whether you operate an agricultural property. So for me, that's no. All right, once you've got all that right, you can just click on next. And now it's asking for the main business location. So the country is going to be Australia, and then you can just put in an address. So if you're a sole trader operating from home, you can just put your home address in there. If you do have a separate business address, you can put that in there. The next question is asking you if you have a different postal address. So for me, that's going to be no. And then down here, it's also asking for an email address. So I'll just put an email address in there, like so. And then the next question is asking whether we have more than one business location in Australia. And for me, that's going to be no. Okay, just scrolling down, we can see that it's also asking for a telephone number and it's saying either a mobile number or email address must be provided. So I'll just put a mobile number in here, like so. And then once again, there's another question down here about the email address for this location. So you can just check that box if it's the same e email address that you had above. Once you're done, you can click on next. And then you'll get to a screen asking you for your contact details. So it's just pre-filled in my name and position held there, which is correct. And then down here, it's asking us again for mobile numbers and email addresses. So just fill in what you need there. And once you're finished, you can just click on next. Okay, so we're almost at the end of the process now. And you can see here, it's asking us for a reason for the application. So if you just go to the drop down box, you can see that you've got a number of different things to choose there. This one is going to be a new business in Australia. So you can just click on that. And now it's asking whether it's the sole traders first time in business in Australia. And for us, that's going to be yes. Once you're done, you can click on next. And then you'll be taken to the final page, which is the declaration page. So you just need to read all the information on here and then make a declaration that all the information that you have provided is true and correct. Once you're done, you can click on submit. And then if you're lucky, your ABN will be issued to you immediately. But like I said earlier, if they need more information, then you won't get it immediately and you'll be required to submit some more information and the process will take a little bit longer. And then hopefully in the end, you'll get your ABN. So that's it for this video. Best of luck with your ABN application and I'll see you in another video.